The Nashville school shooter Audrey Hale's manifesto is officially leaked, whether it's the entirety of her whole notebook as people on the left are pushing back and saying, it. to me, it doesn't matter. Yes, these are three pages. Yes, this isn't the entire book. But yes, this, <laughs> the pages that are leaked perfectly describe her reasons for doing what she did to the school. Yes, there might be another part of the manifesto that describes maybe going to a mall. But she didn't do that, did she? So why would we even discuss that? See, Stephen Crowder leaked what was one of the most incredible things I've seen in a long time. Him and his team leaked the manifesto, which talked about killing crackers, uh, hoping for a high death count, praying that her anxiety is <laughs> alleviated, and so that God, she can dish out her wrath onto these uh, rich children and saying that she's ready to die. I, I think like the most incredible thing is that, so Stephen Crowder put out this leak, the trans manifesto, and those of you that have forgotten that maybe have a life, Remember the Nashville school shooting that there was this manifesto that was talked about uh, and people were like, why don't you release that? Well, they never released it. Yes, there are people suing even currently trying to get this document out in the public. But I I think that's bullcrap. I mean, don't you? <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> don't you feel like this is the type of story that they just pray goes away? It's in the court system. We're looking into it. We're doing everything we can. It's just it's just tied up in legalities. I don't know. We can't really look into it. Or is it because it's so on the nose that goes against everything the media, our, our, our elites in colleges, politicians, corporate leaders, goes against everything that they stand for? Because we're constantly told that it's these right-wing, white male, racists that are the problem in this country in fact the story goes a little deeper a manifesto believed to be written by the trans Nashville Catholic scooter Audrey Hale become public and reveals her intention to kill white privileged kids before being shot by police <laughs> this manifesto was shrouded in incredible secrecy since the shooting of March 24, March 27th, which everyone is asked to put out. And then so he went on a big parade this morning, Stephen Crowder, which of all, you know, more power to him. You know, calling, kind of calling out right-wing talk show podcasters, Fox News, The Daily Wire, whatever. You could probably even put Tim Pool. People with ex, a lot of money to be able to do uh, journalism like this. That could never get to it, but he is him and his team did. I think it's a I think it's an an honest and g genuine evaluation of the right wing in its entirety in general. Is that you? It's just like stuff we hear about you know Joe Biden's more and more leaks. He's finally he's going to get impeached. Blah blah blah. You know, these are things that they say in order to go okay. They're doing stuff when they're actually doing nothing. Crowder puts out a leak and like kind of starts going after you know i think the daily wire but you know not totally sure of course jeremy boring god king what an incredible name that is <laughs> puts out a post he's not congratulate you know i you know i would just say wow that's incredible thank god there's somebody like you out there doing the work just like uh you know project veritas or something like that crowder is a jimmy boring puts out crowder is a dishonest spiteful narcissistic scumbag <laughs> god dang dude tell us how you really think jeremy boring uh and those of you don't know ceo of daily wire who even in his victories can't help but betray the most everyone else is doing good work in our space including those who have sued for the release of this manifesto like the tn star as someone who is not sufficiently pure in or dedicated or conservative his true not true scotsman shtick is offensive and tired but the credit is due where the credit is due he landed huge and important scoop here <laughs> 
<laughs> and then everyone just kind of comments underneath, like, what the F is wrong with you? This is the pettiest thing I've ever read in my life. Uh, Tim, the tool man who works for Steven Crowder. The, uh, this is an odd way to say thank you. Uh, unless Crowder included some dig against Daily Wire in his report. Hey, he sort of did. I, he, I, and I think it's on. I don't, honestly, I don't blame him. I would do the same thing. If I was in his position, this is like one of these leaks that you're like, this is what Fox News should be doing. This is what they should be pushing their resource. They have so much money. They should be, uh, they're supposed to be the right, uh, the right news as opposed to the unit party news, which is what it really is. Um, but I think it's even funnier as we go down deeper. So then we have this guy, Phil, <laughs> Phil Williams, channel five news, Phil Williams, multiple sources have told me the selective link on the three pages, the covenant school shooting manifesto, obviously this is a news reporter in Nashville, uh, is extremely misleading. Really? Cause I'm not going to read the, the, I, I, I just want to encourage you look up. If you don't know what these pages say, look them up for yourself. You're not going to find it on Google cause Google has taken it down. Same with <laughs> and meta and, and everything like that, but look them up. You'll find them you seek and you will find my friend um people have read the whole story said there's something there for everybody she hated everyone yeah that might be true but she also put exactly what she was doing before she went and shot up a school so yeah maybe she did hate everyone but she was pretty specific in what she wrote and i think it's like in it's so disingenuous when you read stuff like this from people, uh, from uh, news reporters. It's, hey, we're supposed to be the one giving you the news, not people like Steven Crowder, a right-wing propagandist. He's just a comedian, and no one should take him seriously whatsoever. <laughs> it's so disingenuous to see something like this. There's something in there for everyone. She hated everyone. It's extremely misleading. It's really not, though. It, yes, there might be more. There might be more to the story. But these pages are very explicit. And if and I can't say this and emphasize this enough. If this if this was a white male that had in his notebook how much he hated black people and then went to an inner city school and shot it up, you would have that manifesto before you can say manifesto <laughs> like you wouldn't even have to wake up in the morning like you they wouldn't even like you know like confirm their new sources they wouldn't even make sure they were real they would just publish them immediately why because it fits the freaking narrative because that's what's more important isn't it it's not important to you know tell people the truth in life and uh you know allow them to be adults and make decisions on their own or hold people accountable that should be held accountable. No, it's important. It's extremely important to make society stupid. Make us just keep going along and spouting the same stupid nonsense over and over again. White males are a problem in our society due to their uh, white privilege. They have been afforded everything in life. Now it's their time to sit down, shut up, and listen. Bow before us. We're the new ones in charge now, white man. I just, this guy, Phil Williams, is like a perfect example of what I hate about media. You know, he could have said, there's more to the manifesto. This isn't the entirety of the manifesto, but these are very important things, and I'm thank God that someone has the excuse. It's another thing, too. This is our, this is our media now. They're more mad that that Crowder got the scoop and not them. They're more mad that they aren't able to shape the narrative, and Stephen Crowder is. Um, and then he he goes on to this because people like people on. The, <laughs> even I got in on some of Phil Williams stuff, but he goes in a few thoughts on the selective release of the covenant school shooters writings, a few thoughts to be clear because the trolls are seriously misconstruing this issue. NC five had previously requested these documents, but those have not been provided to us. <laughs> Excuse me. We would like the documents. No, thank you. No, you can't have them. Oh, we tried. <laughs> God, where, where is it? Where, when did our like our news? Our news is just so weak and pathetic. They're just like, 
they just they're just rather be a talk show host. They rather be a podcaster. They rather be somebody that's not held accountable to you know. This is their job. You're supposed to you know speak truth to power. No thanks. We're more mad at Steven Crowder for releasing stuff. You can draw conclusions based on these three selective pages. Well, why wouldn't you? Because anybody that has you know two brain cells in their brain can read this three selective pages. And yes, you might have other pages of drawings. And um, you know, I had a bad day at school. I couldn't fill up my gas tank because inflation is killing me. I don't know. <laughs> like, like it's just incredible. Well, this is, it just gets better and better. You can draw conclusions based on these selective pages, blah, 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 blah. While some want to believe that these pages are evidence of an anti-white hate crime where a white person was shot by a black man. No, no one, no one is writing that, but thanks, thanks, white, liberal <laughs> news host. An anti-white hate crime. Well, that's what it certainly reads like. But you're, you're supposed to believe that those aren't real things because black people can't be racist. I am told that the writings are filled with all sorts of hate directed toward, at people of various identities. Yes, you know, and it's important, like this newscaster, to be as incredibly vague as possible. Therefore, the narrative stays the same. The Covenant families have their own legitimate reasons to want to minimize their pain. You know, if my kid was killed, I'd probably want to know everything about that person. Uh, instead... As I feared in our current political environment, <clears throat> I love that like the media would write something. A guy that works in media in our current political envi- environment um, that you help create. The lack of transparency has only fueled conspiracy theories, especially among those who desperately want to create their own narratives. Holy crap! That is a sentence that should go down in the history books. The lack of transparency has only fueled conspiracy theories, especially among those who desperately want to create their own narratives. Chew on that for the rest of your night. Have a wonderful night. The people in the media are not your friends. Okay? I can't emphasize that enough. These people are not your friends. These people are more concerned... Why didn't? Why wasn't I the one that leaked it? Why was it, you know, Crowder that leaked it? Why? Why did this happen? Why that? We've been trying to get our hands on it. I mean, you just just look at Julian Assange, you know. <laughs> I, I, I it, these people are not your friends. I can't like if COVID hasn't like told you what the media is like. I I don't I don't know if there's hope, but if this should be a perfect example. I mean, the media doesn't care about the truth. They don't care about getting down to actual facts. Just like politicians, they don't want to make your life better. They want you just to take crumbs from the table and so that you remain hungry and that you keep voting them in power because I'll be the one this time to fix your life. Just come to me for your news source. I'll give it to you. Have a wonderful day.